festival right here in New Orleans. Yeah, you're right. As you know, this festival is brought to you by the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation, a nonprofit organization. You can find out all about our many year-round programs and activities right over there at the Foundation Information Tent. What makes an event a lot more fun than just a band on a stage is having great food along with that band on a stage and also having great crafts and great cultural artifacts and other kinds of entertainment that add to an overall cultural expression. So we need to be a showcase for all of that. It gives them an opportunity to showcase what they do for the community at large and for the visitors, but more importantly, it gives an opportunity to earn significant money. Yeah, everybody, losers in town got a dollar and a quarter and I'm riding a clown. Don't let nobody play me cheap. I got 10 cents more than I'm going to keep in a roll. Oh, it's awesome. I love the sun. And I like to I like to chat with people and, and get, get our product out there and give out cards. Enjoy myself and listen to live music. The glass looks really good in the sunlight. I get good feedback from everyone uh, about my art. And I get to meet the people that buy my stuff. In a gallery setting, I wouldn't get to meet them. Well, my great joy is to watch everyone try them on. See them all on different faces. Oh, it's just too much fun. Cities all over are recognizing that it's to their advantage to embrace culture as an element of their economy, certainly in Louisiana because of our renown for our cultural products, our music, our food, the art that we produce. It's increasingly important for us to recognize that, and folks have. Everybody recognizes that culture means business. My dad was act is actually was the, one of the first vendors asked to be in the uh, Jazz and Heritage Festival when they were starting it. And so um, we've been doing that ever since the beginning. And it's a great marketing tool for us as a company because we've been able to have our products in grocery stores, do institutional business. So it, it definitely is a way for us to get to the consumer and it's the best venue to taste and test your product. Alligator sausage and pork loin. We have more over here. Corn on the cob, pork steak, and pork butt. So what animal does that stuff called corn on the cob come from? <laughs> That's from Arkansas. <laughs> I started off with cochon de lait. The food is always good. The Vietnamese spring rolls, I always like that. You sell it to them, and you can watch them take a bite right in front of your face, and they look at you, and they just chew it, and they're like, mmm, 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 and you ask them, is it good? And they're like, mmm, mmm, it's delicious. I like the Caribbean and then the seafoods. But I do a lot of baby back ribs. They seem to be popular here. I have her barbecue beans and potato salad, her red beans and rice, and coleslaw. 
I love this festival. You know, this is great, the Blues Fest. It's fun every year. We've been out here with them every year since the first one, and uh, it's the best event we do all year. And then the blues and the barbecue. It doesn't get better than that, I gotta say. But you know you got it if it makes you feel good. I'm not really aware of other towns that have as many musical and cultural events as we do. I don't think if you went to Portland, Oregon, you would find four festivals every single weekend. That's very unique. It's one of the few places in this country where that blend of cultures was retained. And it's, it's still here, and I feel it. We got the blues, baby! It's New Orleans! I don't think we know any other way. Oh, it's another day. Okay, great. Time for more bands, more beer. You know, let's have a festival. It's kind of how, kind of how we roll, I guess, you know? <laughs> New Orleans is cooking, baby, all the time.